Let's go. Okay, everyone, welcome. Steve Schwartz here to the uh, Sunday Night um, Market Leaders Mastermind. And um, yeah, it's been a kind of a whirlwind. I've just gotten back this past week from uh, 12 days in Europe. Excited, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and just kick through this and get you guys on with on your uh, day, so on your evening, I should say. So, <clears throat> okay, well, I've got Woodson out here as well. Woodson, say hello. Hey, everybody. Okay. Steve, we're so happy to have you back. Oh my goodness, thank you. Awesome. Well, you just woke me up with that. Uh, so my voice isn't really good. I don't know what's going on here, but um, uh, all right. So let's just go through this and let's get kicked off. Oops, sorry. Getting happy here. So we got this gold uh, promotion, same effort, double the rewards. There's also some baseball games you can win. Like if you live in the Kansas City area or even in California, you can look at the details of all that. But I'm going to have Woodson go ahead and talk about what this actually means. Um, okay. Yes. There you go. And, oh, no, no, no. Um, and, and we are so excited for Steve to be back. I'm going to get through this fast um, so that Steve can tell us about his trip, creating curiosity, something that I'm really excited to um, hear more about. But this RX Gold bonus promotion is huge. It is completely ignited overnight. Two different, completely different teams within my business, but also in other people's businesses as well. So here's how it works. Okay, this started on April the 30th and it runs through June the 24th. So it goes through the Friday night while we're all in California at the, um, at the convention. So if you're a new member that is enrolled during this promotional period, so these are brand new people. If you go gold in your first four weeks, you get an extra $150 bonus. If you go gold during the eight weeks, which is the only way you could go gold, they're still giving you 75 extra dollars. So that is incredible. So now here's how you're going to get paid the following Friday. <clears throat> you can't just sign up for people. They have to be sponsored with fully qualified businesses, meaning they have a minimum 150 volume points, they have a 2X membership, and a valid auto delivery. So if you're putting someone in the business, don't put them in the business, go, we'll pick their auto delivery later. Or put them in the business without a 2X membership. Get them one of the turnkey business kits, if at all possible, so you know you're protected. But don't, I, I've been getting phone calls um, and, and people are saying, well, we were gonna set up the auto delivery later because they didn't know what they were gonna get. No, you set up the auto delivery the minute they come in the business, and then if they change their mind, they call rep support when my auto delivery comes in three weeks or four weeks, I'd like to change it to whatever, but you have to have that established to go gold. So I don't want you to lose out on this promotion, not just for the money, but for your new prospect to make sure they go gold. So that's what that means. So there's no excuse for anybody coming into the business now not to go gold and do it fast. Cause I mean, that's crazy. If you come in with a member kit, that's a third of your business paid back just like that. All right. So you want to go to the next slide or am I there you go. driving? There you, okay. This is the crazy part. Okay. For those of you that really want to ignite your business, here's what happens and you get paid these weekly. So if, if I were to achieve any of these statuses this week, these bonuses would show up on my next Friday's paycheck. So there's no waiting or whatever. You get paid the following Friday that these numbers are verified and they're doing it automatically. So this is the gold creator and this is what is the most fun. And I'm gonna give a huge shout out to Rosina Nelson. She is getting ready to get paid on a couple of these bonuses uh, for being a gold creator. She has really used this to completely ignite her team. So if here you are and you go and sponsor someone and you help them go gold, so you're now a gold creator. Let's say that you sponsor David, and David goes gold in four weeks. David gets the extra 150, because he went gold. For you creating a gold member, you get an extra 100 if you help David do that in the first four weeks. If you help him do it within eight weeks, you get 50, so that's awesome. So David was your first gold. And then you go out and you sponsor Sam. And Sam, you help Sam go gold. 
Well, the following Friday, you get another $200. So now you've got 300 extra bucks for helping two people go gold. You help David go gold and Sam go gold. Three. A lot of people don't get this. You, these are cumulative. So then you help your third person go gold. Let's say it's Mary. You've already got $300. You help Mary go gold in four weeks. Now she's your third gold. One, two, three. You're now $600 ahead for helping three people go gold. That's a lot of money, but it's really funny. And I don't want to use the word trickery, but I feel like Fred has almost tricked us into igniting our business. But there's no trickery involved. It's just an incredible shot of adrenaline into your business. And there's no reason why this can't take you into instant momentum. I think the biggest farce that people don't understand with what I'm explaining to you is you think if your business is kind of like not where you want it to be, if you just help one person go gold and help them become a gold creator, boom, you've got a ready-made team. I know good and well you can do that with three or four people. So now, okay, so you've got Steve, you've got Sam, you've got Mary. You've made an extra 600 bucks. And now you go out and sponsor Stephanie. You help her go gold. That's another, that's another $400 because she's your fourth gold. One, two, three, four. You've now made a thousand extra dollars for sponsoring four people and help them go gold. Y'all, this is nuts. I'm sponsoring people right now. Steve is sponsoring people right now. We've been strategizing on doing some validation calls and closing calls because I've got some people that I know he's going to really, I feel like he's going to have a connection with. And then he was telling me about some people. He said, Woodson, I think, I just think there's something there that maybe hearing your story or whatever it is. Sure. So find an accountability partner right now. I don't care who it is who you have to get on the phone with and you're going to hold each other accountable that you're going to start, you're going to sponsor people before convention and you're going to help them go gold. Oh, by the way, if you get a fifth person gold, the fifth person that goes gold, that's 500 bucks. That's $1,500 for helping people go gold and not waiting around until the last 10 days. Kill me now. People are, well, I don't know, I got time. No, you don't need to lose 50 pounds to go sponsor somebody else. You come into business, you share with them with the, with the tips that Steve is going to share with you. I can't wait about creating curiosity because I think I suck at it. I'm just very like, here's what we're doing. But I love some of the tips that he's going to give us because I'm going to start using them to really start reaching out and casting a bigger web. So I hope that you all understand getting someone to gold and then being a gold creator, what that can really mean, not just for your paycheck, but can, I really want you to think about the momentum that can kick into your business. And if you just break it down into baby steps, helping everyone go gold, there's, there's really no, there's no reason why you can't be exactly where you want to be when the time comes. So I just, um, Dun, 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 dun. I just am looking to make sure nobody needs me for anything. And now, Steve, I'm turning it over to you. But I, I get really fired up about this because I'm watching this completely change the dynamics on people's teams. And I'm talking brand new people that came into the business in March and April in Kansas right now. They are on fire with this gold creator and going gold promotion. It is yes, nuts. Yes. I mean, not only would you make money from it. <clears throat> From the volume created, but gosh, you made another fifteen hundred dollars if you had five. I mean, and people want to know how to pay for the trip to California. There you go. Well, there you go. And also, we're seeing people sponsor people, <laughs> help them go gold, and then they're like, "How does this work?" Well, you know, the four people that you just sponsored, so you could go gold. If you can help each one of those four go gold, you'll make an extra thousand, and they'll make extra money too. Nobody's waiting. Nobody's waiting to learn everything about everything and waiting to have some incredible elephant man transformation or whatever it is they're trying to do. They're really getting people excited to join them in the journey. And when I say that, I'm not trying to offend anyone. I'm saying people who really care about you, they want to join you in the beginning and grow with you. They don't want to see what happens and then feel like they're playing catch up. They're your friends. You're people who care about you. They want to be with you in the mix. I think a lot of people forget that. And I was one of those people that forgot that. Um, so it's fun to get people started and get them all started moving at the same time. All right, Steve. All right. Well, back we're going to, to you. here. This is good. You guys can look at this. It's in your back office. You just click on that little image right there in the um, X office. You'll see it. 
and get the details of it and also see about the baseball game and all that stuff. So, <clears throat> all right. So I wanted to plug an event we're doing next uh, Saturday uh, here in San Diego. And um, just reach out to me if you want. Have anybody you want to come to this? Um, Cause it's really small here right now. I'm just telling you like it's, it's uh, so new that what we're building here locally that it's a huge opportunity for people to come together. And I just said I was going to do a, a meeting once, a presentation once, a, a training once a month. So uh, we're, we're coming up on this uh, this next Saturday. I've got Erica coming as well. And then Dell, you'll probably see him in a lot of the 3X videos and also the Sunrise videos, Dell Lewis. And um, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Dell's amazing. Erica's awesome. And then they let me show up as well. So it's pretty good. <laughs> Um, but it's going to be nine to 10 business presentation, uh, 10 to one training. And we're going to do some cool things. Erica's going to be training people on some product stuff. I'm going to knock through the presentation probably even faster than an hour. And, um, and then, you know, we're going to make it happen. So anyways, hope you guys like this. Uh, if you guys like this flyer for any of your local meetings or anything, let me know. It's cost about 25 bucks or something like that. I got a guy who can make them for you in the UK. I don't make any commission, but he does them does them quick so anyways all right so and then this big event here and I wanted to give you guys something that you could shoot for in the spirit of what Woodson was talking about with the West Coast Regional here in Irvine now that we've got it down to Irvine we've said about three different cities but <laughs> so uh, but it's Irvine not that they're very far from each other but this is a great location um, and you know, gosh, you can come out here and Newport Beach is right there. Just so you know, like people come from all over the world to go to Newport Beach. It's amazing. I used to live right there. Um, and, um, and then San Diego is not even very far from me. I live about 40, I live 30 minute, 35 with no traffic, 35 minute drive to this location, pretty much right where this is at. So <clears throat> again, you're coming to Orange, Co Orange County, California. Um, this is our convention. There isn't a big Vegas convention. This is the West Coast Regional. And uh, you want to be there. Now, what I wanted to do for those that are coming out is I know people in low places and I know people in high places are. <laughs> and so um, I wanted to bring out and anybody that um, uh, what I want to do is give you guys an incentive, something special. And so if it's uh, and that's going to be on June 23rd, because most likely because this thing starts at like nine in the morning on Friday. So you're going to have to be there Thursday evening. And so for the people that are going to come out, I'm going to put together something for you guys, a special dinner. However, you have to earn the right to come to this, right? And what it is, a special leadership dinner with MLM Nation founder, Simon Chan. So have you ever heard of MLM Nation? Oh, Simon, my gosh. Simon's interviewed. Wow, yeah. He's, uh, <clears throat> you know, that little punk there. I'm just kidding. But that kid right there, um, He's a good friend of mine, so I can say that about him. But um, he has uh, – I, I don't know if you guys know this, but he um, he basically retired from uh, – we were both in USANA. He still makes money from USANA but doesn't work on it, but like maybe three minutes. Okay? But that's just probably changing his auto ship or whatever, you know, and uh, still makes a six-figure income from them, residual. And kind of like moved on and wanted to become a trainer. This is something he's wanted to do. So he created MLM Nation out of a dream of his. And um, he's been interviewing network marketing leaders. And he has over 177 different interviews so far. And he's gonna, he pumps a couple of them out every week. And um, also has training materials and th that kind of stuff. But uh, Simon was in my organization. And I was kind of like looking through his stuff the other day. And uh, this is us at the last last year San Diego Chargers only football game that they won, I think. But, um, but <laughs> who knows? But we were there with Tyler, and we went to the game. And uh, um, but uh, this incentive dinner, uh, you're going to talk to someone who has an organization. I didn't realize the organization grew this huge, but over 350 thousand people had enrolled in that organization, right? Through Simon's organization, pretty amazing, right? That's crazy, right? That's like a you know, a, a good size city, right? So he's the host of MLM Nation podcast, Ivy League educated, former NBA agent. He showed up at his first event in network marketing, dressed like he's going to go shoot baskets with like Michael Jordan's on and like shorts and like a pullover. I was like, dude, we're out of like, I'm in a suit. But after that, like he raised his game and he, you know, he started prospecting, started learning how to talk to people, generating leads, doing, doing different things and uh, went international. And the rest is history. Um, 
And so he's going to join us for the dinner, but you're going to have to earn your way into the dinner um, because I'm going to like pay for the whole thing. And I want you guys to get some value from spending time with Simon. Uh, he gets, he travels around the world training people. Uh, and what you have to do to get to this dinner is sponsor four people at least 150 points or more. So you enroll four people, which will help you with the goal with, with, you know, finding your goals or getting gold if you're new and then sponsor one or, or so you can do any one of these or sponsor one rep who goes gold, right? So you sponsor someone who goes gold. That's, this is from like right now till the 17th. That way I have to cut it off the 17th of June. Okay. So from now to the 17th of June, or you have a thousand points in personal volume. That's not someone signing up an elite pack for themselves. That's for like you, you sell four clinical packs to customers or you purchase some inventory and then sell it or whatever you're going to do. Right? So that's what you got to do to get there. One, you got to be coming to the West coast regional and then this dinner, it'll be a cool dinner. And you got to realize that pick a lot of people would come up to me and go, I heard you on Simon Chan's radio, you know, on his podcast. And I was like, Oh yeah, of course. Cool. Yeah. But I remember I trained Simon when he didn't know anything. Right. And uh, like I said, I knew a little more than he did at that point but enough that, enough that he listened to me. So, um, so yeah. And anyway, you'll love him. He's a great guy. Uh, amazing guy. Great speaker. He used to be, you know, he has a New York accent. He speaks Mandarin and Cantonese. So figure out, it's like, I don't even know what to do. But he has a Brooklyn accent and, um, but he's awesome. He lives in Los Angeles. He's going to come to this and, um, yeah, I want you guys to meet him and hear what he has to say. We'll, we'll pick a training topic that's relative to you guys. So we'll have a dinner and then he'll, uh, he'll, he'll talk to you guys. So again, that's what you got to do. One of these three things. Okay. And again, it's Thursday night, June, uh, June 23rd, Irvine, California, 7 30 PM location. I will figure that out very quickly. I just decided to do this a couple of days ago and I got him to agree to come and boom. So hopefully it won't be me and Simon eating dinner together. You guys will join us. You'll accomplish some things and, uh, and get there. So I highly recommend it. Free dinner Thursday night. Okay. And again, time to go cruising. Remember, we got the incentive trip. Build your business. We have till June 24th to pump up your check to get a cruise, $5,000 increase. If you miss it then, you have the next six months to do the same thing or 9,000 if you wanna have two people go on the cruise. It's going to be awesome. <clears throat> I've been on cruises. They're the best events you can go on. Um, this is gonna go to Fort Lauderdale, Haiti, Puerto Rico, St. Martin, amazing place. I wanna live there actually, St. Kitts. And again, this is what you got to do. Um, and that's us on the cruise, the last cruise. So anyways, um, so hopefully you guys will take this serious and get moving. So what I want to do now is get into a topic. And Tim Sales had written a book about this, a little like uh, pamphlet called Creating Curiosity. And I think this has always been one of the um, – keys to me being successful in inviting people, right? In other words, people are like, oh, you're so good at this, Steve, or whatever. I'm like, I'm not that good at it. I just follow these simple little things. And if you disciplined yourself to do it every time, well, guess what? You would have a lot better results as well, all right? So let's talk about that. And creating curiosity. Curiosity is the thing that causes you to reach for something, right? Think about a movie trailer. Why do you want to go watch the movie? Because they create curiosity enough that you're like, well, I got to see what happens there, right? I want to know. If they showed you the punchline, no one goes to the movie. Right? <clears throat> so if they showed you the climax, whatever, the, you know, the scene or whatever, you know. Uh, and so you don't want that. You want to create curiosity, and I'll show you when you do it. And curiosity is created because someone has the desire to know something. If there's no mystery, no unknown, then there is less interest, right? On new purchases – not repeat orders, right? So curiosity is what gets a person to buy, right? And again, this isn't like if I already am buying a toothpaste, then I don't, I'm not curious about the toothpaste again. I know I like it. I'm going to order it again. I'm going to buy it again, right? So this is on new purchases. Curiosity is what gets a person to buy. What's in that book that could change my life, right? What's in that book that I didn't know, right? What, what about that story may impact me that I can learn about, right? And so this is what you got to do, curating curiosity. And there's three things that people, there's really like two, three things. <clears throat> you either, you're either there is creating too much, um, which just is not good. There's creating too little, which is again, not good. And there's a balance in between. That is what you're trying to achieve, right? And this takes a little bit of work. 
but a little bit of skill and um, not really that much skill. I mean, what are we talking about here? We're not like building a house. We're talking about putting some words together and listening a little bit better, right? So we refresh on the inviting formula, right? There's the greeting, right? You get people to talk freely with you, qualifying. You find out what's, what a prospect wants. Inviting. This is where, when you're inviting, like in other words, I'm talking to you, I, I've gotten you to speak openly, we're laughing with each other, I, you know, you tell me something that you really want, like you want to keep your kids out of daycare, boom, I say, well, you know what, I've got a video that could help you, you know, keep your kids out of daycare, you know, you may want to see it. So it's that inviting part, where I'm inviting them to look at a video, inviting them to come to a meeting, inviting them to do something where I create curiosity. And if you don't create curiosity, you'll have way less people show up to watch videos, you know, way less people like do anything that you want them to do. All right. Just the way it is. Then they'll close to action. You conclude blah, blah, blah. And the rest of the steps handle questions or objections, which happen anytime follow up, follow through. But it's in, <clears throat> it's in that cure. It's in that invite that you have that inviting step where I'm inviting you to do something um, where the curiosity must be created. If you want to have massive results with it. All right. So you have to have razor sharp ears during qualify step. Right, so when they're telling you what they want, or if you ask them a question directly, like have you ever thought about earning more income outside of working, you know, where you're at now, and they say yes, and then you find out what do you, what, you know, what would you want to do, or you know, and they say, well, why would you, what, you know, what would make you want to earn more income? Like, what do you need? And then you really listen to what they tell you, not just more money. Oh, I need to make more money. It's like what the more money will do, right? You say, oh my gosh, that's awesome. You want to make more money? What would more money like? What would that mean to you, right? And so then they tell you, all right? <clears throat> and this is where you deliver the curiosity invite. Should satisfy, but not over satisfy, so they know what it is. Like you don't want to tell them what it is because what's the point of them? They're not going to go look at it. They're going to, they're going to think they know what it is, right? So you should not satisfy, uh, you should satisfy, but not over satisfy, so they now uh, know what it is or think they know what it is. Don't let that happen, all right? You don't want to have that happen. You know, you don't want to do that. So, example. Um, if someone uh, were to say, I'm really frustrated with my job, it's just not really going anywhere, like someone you're talking to. In the qualifying section, I would ask, well, what, what do you have in mind to do? And the person goes, you know what, I don't know. I mean, if I could make a career change, move, you know, move, it would be fine with me, or I could stay in the same position. Uh, then I could ask a further qualifying question. Well, what have you thought about doing? Have you looked at around uh, have you looked at other things? See, what a lot of people make a mistake right here, they'll jump to, well, you know what? I have a business that you should look at. Too fast. It's too fast. You're too pushy, and it's weird, all right? So this is where we get weird. And it's just this one little simple part right here, right? And this is a little separate part of this. And what I mean is the person starting to tell you what, what the, you know, what they, that they're frustrated in their job. And, you can, and if you went right to what you do, um, I, I think you could just take it a couple more steps and you'll be a way more perfect you'll be way more professional. So let's go through it again. I'm really frustrated with my job. It's just not really going anywhere. So in the qualifying section of this, right, I would say, well, what do you have in mind to do? And the person goes, you know what? I don't know. I mean, if I could make a career change move, it would be fine with me. Or if I could just, maybe I'll just stay in the same position. You know, I'm not really sure. And so you can, you can ask a further question. Well, what have you thought about doing? Have you looked at around? Have you looked at other things? At some point, I could ask, and they say, well, you know what? I really don't know. And, you know, I've thought about this, thought about that, and you can say, that's great. And at some point, I could just ask this question. You know what? I may have a solution for you. That's enough curiosity, right? I wouldn't go, I, I, have, a, I, I have a solution for you, and you know what? It involves, you know, uh, weight loss and nutrition and skin care, and it's this company called Rx. It's new. Have you ever heard of it? No. Okay, man, you're going to love it. That's way too much information, right? Um, so, you know what? I, have a, I may have a solution for you. And I could say, do you have an email address? I could shoot over a video that could help explain what we're doing. You know, uh, I don't know if it's going to be for you or not, but I thought you, you know, may want to see it. Boom. It's enough curiosity, right? So, the direct approach. Now, this can happen with, like, so this is an approach. Then I'm going to give you some examples. Or I'm going to give you a scenario and then give you examples and have you guys kind of answer them and see what you think. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so the direct approach, use with friends or people you know, not the best. It doesn't work as well. Sometimes it, you know, it does work. Times it does work is when you, you know, most, there are times it does work 
and I'm going to show you how it, how this could work. This is a direct approach where I ask you a direct question. Okay, most people come up with hokey lines like you know I help people get rich or you know I'm a global wealth creator or they I don't know what the heck they say, but they say some pretty stupid stuff. And I've heard it over the years, and I just makes me crack up. I'm like, oh, you really tell people that? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, really? How's that working for you? Well, I talked to 2,000 people and one signed up. Exactly. Quit saying that stupid stuff. Like, I help people get rich. I mean, that's just so dumb. But people say stuff like this. And sometimes with personalities, people can get away with it. Um, but we don't want it to be based on a personality. Right? We want it to be based on something way that, that you can do. So don't use this across the board. Come up with one that does work for you. But if I was talking to someone, direct approach, you could say this, all right? Um, if I was like trying to get someone, you know, want someone interested in the business, right? Um, I could say, I have a business that's putting people in a position to earn ten dollars to $15,000 a month. Does that interest you, right? I could say that to somebody. Only recommend if you're doing this, by the way. So if you're not making that much money, um, I probably wouldn't do it. So, um, right? Tim Sales did this with high-powered people. They, they, they were, were calling and got two out of 90. But a lot of people would say, I'm going to get dive airplanes. We're getting dive bombed over here. Um, but Tim Sales did this, right, um, with, uh, with well, high-powered people that answered an ad about creating six-figure income. And so um, – Two out of 90, you know, decided to do it. But the two were high-powered people, and they made a lot of money with those two. You know, those two people became leaders in his team. So I would be willing to go through 90 to find two good ones. But, you know, so, but you'd have to really master this line. Um, you know, if you use that same line, but some people use that line, but it sounds hokey. Why? Because they say it with a lot of stuttering and, uh, um, you know, uh, and that's right. Uh, so it sounds hokey, right? They're stuttering about they're not communicating easily. And voice has to come through strong, quick, like you have a quick greeting with someone and very direct. Like say, hey, you know, it's nice seeing you here. Um, yeah, you work here? Oh, like, cool, you work, you work here? Yeah, how do you like working here? Pretty good, well, you know what? Um, and then you could just say, you could just say, you know, I have a business, I just, you know, I know it's kind of crazy, I'm just throwing it out there to you, but I have a business that's putting people in a position to earn ten to $15,000 a month. Does that interest you, right? And I have to practice that enough to be a direct approach, okay? If I was gonna do that one. Any direct approach, you must practice and sound like you know what you're talking about, right? Because if you're stuttering and hesitating, well, I've already know that that's, that's a communication quality that you're not following, right? One of the 10 communication qualities called communicate easily. No stuttering, hesitating, or sounding rehearsed. Because when you sound like that, that makes people push away from you. Right? But this can be effective. I'm just giving you a direct approach an example. I'm not saying you have to go do that. But if you started practicing that and you did that with enough people that were high powered, now if you do that with somebody who makes 30000 a year, you're going to scare the crap out of them. I'm just letting you know. I mean, you are, right? But if you talk to somebody who's making six figures, then they, they may, they'll, they'll perk up and want to listen to you. Okay? But it, again, it can be effective. All right, so keep them curious when they ask questions. And so towards the end of that, and they say, oh, by the way, oh, remember, okay, this is what I was going to go into. This is what happens to you, you know, when you're talking to someone and you say, you say, um, <clears throat> like you invite them to take a look at the video and they say, I've got a video that, you know, I think you'll, that, you know, I think you'll enjoy watching. I think I have a video that I think uh, can help you, right? And they'll say, okay, cool. And you give them the link and they say, oh, by the way, right? They do one of, has you ever had that, Woodson? Anybody oh, ever? yeah. Oh, by the way, they throw that little question in there right at the end, right? Mm -hmm. And it can trip you up. And so the reason they do that is they're basically trying to say, you know, when they say, oh, by the way, so I don't basically in their mind, they're like, so I don't have to watch the video or come to the meeting. Can you just tell me what about it, right? <clears throat> so what you do is you give them a brief answer, but don't avoid, don't avoid them. But give them a brief answer. Yeah, that's a possibility. Make sure you pay attention to to, uh, to her, I'm sorry, to the her, sorry, I messed up with the in there, but, so let's say somebody, like, I was talking to someone, I wanted them to watch that, like, a video from Joe Bay, right, and um, they said, can you just, like, tell me how it works, and say, you know what, um, the video explained it, especially watch the before picture, you're going to be blown away, right, so I've created enough curiosity, right, what's in right there that you want to go watch it. Right. I love that because right. I think this is what messes people up. As soon as they have their hand on the door thinking the invitation's been set, 
that's when somebody puts a total monkey wrench in the works. And I love this. So yeah. Yeah, they'll go like this. Or they say, oh, by the way, how long is the video? You, you so what you do is say, not too long. Uh, you, you know, then you give them the curiosity line. Like, what, like, let's say I was wanting them to watch the video where Tim Sales explains how to select a network marketing company, right? I say, hey, watch for the points. Because let's say they had been in a company before and not like not had success or not, not I say, hey, you know what? How long is the video? So not too long, uh, but it's, you know, but make sure you watch the, the you know, watch for the, uh, the five points on how to select a company. That way you won't be disappointed again, right? <laughs> or make sure you watch the part about where she goes into why we don't compromise on ingredients, right? In other words, whatever the question is the person has, I'm going to let them make sure the video is relevant. That's why I know what's in the video. That's why I know what's in the thing, right? Right? Like if I'm, that's what you got to do. If they say, well, how does the program work? Hey, you know what? In this video, or at, around on the third minute, he starts talking about exactly how it works. And you're going to love it. And hey, watch out for my, my friend, Dell. He's on the second part. He comes on the second part. The guy was so skeptical. He said he didn't want to do the video. He didn't want to do anything. Check out his testimonial. He's in about 30 seconds into the video. All right, look for it. Boom. Now the person's got to watch the thing because they got to watch Dell. They got to find out what I'm talking about. You get it? Don't answer the questions. Don't say it's 34 minutes, but no, it's really good, man. <laughs> right? Don't do it. All right. All right. So is that good, Woodson? We're going to keep going here real quick. No, this is fan this is the real deal in the trenches stuff. Nobody talks about this. I'm loving it. Cool. So don't ask so they say how long it is, say, you know what, not too long, but remember that. And then just boom. Know the reason why they need to watch the video, the part that you'll you'll think of. Like, you know, with Tim Sales Brilliant Compensation, I used to always say, like, hey, make sure you find that you, you know, remember the four mechanics of wealth. I want to talk to you about that after the video. Right? Now the person's like, dang it, he's going to ask me about the four mechanics of wealth. i got to know what it is, right? Boom. All right. Boom. Plus. All right. So danger of creating too much curiosity. Too much really antagonizes them. You are playing a game with them and they don't appreciate it. People say stuff like, well, Woodson, if you qualify, you know, but or, or, seems evasive. Don't be arrogant, right? Um, again, you know, people do this. Uh, Perfectly timed, uh, you know, basically, you know what? I can help you get that boat, right? Uh, danger of creating too much curiosity, right? You know what? I can help you get that boat. You know what? I can help you lose those 30 pounds. This is different, right? This is actually helping them move. This is actually creating the right amount, actually, all right? Um, I messed that part up. Let me see. Okay, so once you do this, so like the, the title of this is messed up. I'm sorry. Um, but when you create the right amount, perfectly timed, and then make it relevant to the person. So let's say the person says they wanted to get a sailboat and sail around the Caribbean. You know what? I can help you get that boat, right? I've got a video. Boom. There you go. You know what? I can help you lose those 30 pounds. You know what? I think I have a solution for you, right? Those are the right amount of curiosity. And then you move into the closed actions, and then you say, when you know, closed action step is when, and what it is is when do you think you can watch the video for sure, right? Good, boom, and then you conclude, they're gonna go watch the video, you're gonna call them back at that specific time. Um, <clears throat> all right, so let's go through this one. Let me just see here. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little scenario, and then I, I think I might come out of the full screen mode and like do the, um, um, people have chatting, let me see here, no, I'm sorry. What is this doing? Chat. Nice pick. Okay. So I'm going to see um, over here, put this on the other side. Okay. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is uh, go through some of these and minimize this. Sorry. And then I'll bring it back full stream, but I want to go through this kind of like a little, a little exercise. So get ready. If you see the chat box, I want you guys to answer some things here. So here we go. We're going to do a little exercise. And my voice is milling out, so I'm sorry about this. But so you, uh, let's say you're talking to, you know, <clears throat> and someone had mentioned that they, you know, were not so happy with their work, et cetera. So you could say, hey, do you feel it's worth talking to your employer or do you feel you want to move on and do something else? And they say, I guess I, I would talk with my employer, but I certainly would not mind moving on and looking at something else. 
and say, well, what do you have in mind? Like, what is it that you really want to do? By the way, if you do this stuff, instead of jumping right into, you know what, I've got a business you need to look at. If you do this little stuff here, well, what do you have in mind? Like, what is it you really want to do? Then you let them tell you, right? It's a big difference. It's a big difference, okay? The prospect says, you know what, I don't know. I mean, I could make a career change or stay in the same field. I really don't know. I just feel like I want to be rewarded for the work that I do. I feel like I really worked hard there. The only way to make more money is more, more is to advance, and I don't see that happening anytime soon with this company. And so you can say, I see. So have you looked around at all, maybe seen something that looks appealing to you? No, not really. I just know that I'm frustrated where I'm at. The, though, I, though I like the kind of work I do, I guess I just need to start looking around to see what, what else is out there. So I gotta actually do it like this. So I'm gonna take it full screen because <clears throat> I need you guys, I kinda gave you away the answer here. So here is a scenario. So I'm talking to this person and then I say this to them. Let me know if this is too much curiosity, too little, or just the right amount. And I have a little chat box over there. So, you know, so here's the answer number one you could do. You know what? I've got the perfect idea for you. I recently became a distributor with a company that sounds exactly like what you're looking for. You would be in sales. And let me tell you, the company is awesome. It's pushing over 200 million this year and it's debt free. The products are wonderful and used by Olympic athletes. Uh, you can make a lot of money. Want to check it out? Is this too much curiosity, too little, or just the right amount? What do you guys, can you guys type in the box? I'm watching. <laughs> Anybody else? There's one for too much, too much, another too much, too much. Anybody else? I got, okay, more, more, too much. Thanks for participating. And you are correct, <laughs> oh, oh, right? Actually, it's not enough curiosity. Excuse me. So when we do this, <clears throat> what it is, you might have had you might have had the definition wrong. It's it's um, it's not enough curiosity, right? You're making you're basically um, you know, they're like, what are you talking about? Like like like, they're confused. You're saying all these things. Yeah, you're saying you basically said too much stuff, right? You said way too much about the company, uh, way about all these things, and so. What it is is you didn't create enough curiosity for the person, right? So the person's like, man, I already, I already know what this is all about. Why do I want to look at it? Like, no thanks. You know, company, products, athletes, nah, no thank you. So not enough curiosity was created, okay? Um, number two, you know what? I may have a solution for you. Have you gotten a pen and paper handy? Write down this website address. There's a short video clip that explains how you can be better rewarded for the work you do. Is this the right amount? Is this good? Or what do you guys think? We'll let you do it. Just the right amount. That's a good amount because there's not, I've, I've gone back to what they wanted. They wanted to be better rewarded. And I said, hey, write this down. And now they're curious, a short video clip that explains how you can be better rewarded because that's what the person wanted to be, the right amount, right? Right amount of curiosity. All right, number three. Huh, I have something you should try, but it might not be for you. That's too much curious. They're like, what? Like, what are you talking about? So it's too much curiosity. All right. So hopefully you guys got an idea of these. So I think I know of something that might be just what you're looking for. I can get you started right away. Doing your own business, you'd be selling a great line of products, and you would you could replace your salary in just a few months. You could come. Uh, you you should come to our webcast so you can check it out. What do you think? What do you guys think of that one? Too much info. So they've basically not created enough curiosity, right? So not enough curiosity has been created because they told too much, right? I have no idea. Uh, I have no idea you may be interested in uh, if you, I have no idea you may be interested in it if you qualify. Too much curiosity. It's like, what are you talking about? Like, what, it, like there's no, and I didn't use anything that the person wanted and that kind of stuff. Number six, what are you doing Thursday night? I want, I want you to meet me at the Marriott Hotel you need to be there no later than 7.15 and dress professionally. The person, uh -huh. they're going to be like, huh? Right? Right? They're going to be like, what are you talking about? Right? Um, uh, too much curiosity. Right? So it's too much curiosity. A couple more of these. I've got something you should look at. It's right up your alley, and you would definitely be interested. If you really wanted to be rewarded for the work you do, you should check this out. Here I 
wanting to look at something. That's the right amount. Maybe not the perfect words, but that's just the right amount. It's right up your alley, and would be, and you, you, you know, and you would definitely be interested. If you really want to be rewarded for the work you do, you should check this out. Right. So I'm using again. Someone's writing down my board here. <laughs> Please don't. I don't know how to. <clears throat> what am I doing? What are you guys doing? Um. Whatever. I don't have time for that. <clears throat> okay. Here's a, here's a clue for everyone out on there. Just don't do anything on the screen. All right. Okay, number eight. Here, watch this. Uh, it could help you decide what you want to do. Mm, too much curiosity. All right, number nine. I just started my own business with Rx. It has all those things you're looking for in a job. I just got started, but I really think it, uh, I really like it, and the products we offer are really great. Lots of products you use every day, just much better quality. How about if I schedule you a three-way and my sponsor can show you how it works? Blah, 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 right? Mm -hmm. Not enough curiosity. You've basically told them the company. you told them all kinds of things. And basically, you told them way too much, okay? All right? <clears throat> and number 10, I got the perfect idea for you. You will love this. And I think it's exactly what you're looking for. You can make a ton of money right away and be your own boss from the start. So it's like having your own business, but without the expensive startup costs. I'm telling you, it's just what you're looking for. Not enough curiosity, all right? Number 11, I certainly think you deserve to feel rewarded for the work you do, and I think it's achievable. You have internet access, right? There's a video you should watch and learn from. I'll explain the business that I, it'll explain the business I think could definitely get you out of what you're doing now and into a position of feeling more rewarded for the work you do. Again, using their, their really their, what they were wanting, right? Be rewarded for the work they do. And that's the right amount of curiosity. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to escape out of this. I don't know what this annotation stuff is. Hold on one second. Let me, let me see. <laughs> yeah, hell, I'm going to do a writing on my board. Quit it, people. <laughs> Stop it. I uh, it's not I don't even know what you're, how they're, I'm not touching anything. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not a good, I'm not a good, I'm not a good host is what it really comes down to. <laughs> um, all right. I can see all the wrong answers. I put all the wrong, oh, maybe I'm, maybe I'm annotating. <laughs> Who knows? I don't want to annotate. All right. Okay. All right. Enough of that craziness. So was that good? I mean, I know it's a little bit like fast there, Woodson, but just the idea yeah. there, you know, that you want to create the right amount of curiosity and not give too much information or be too evasive, right? I think we need to all go back to what was said to us that got us to a presentation, a meeting, listening. And I promise you, none of you responded to something cheesy. So, so I love these examples, but I want y'all to start thinking about how you would want to be talked to. And I think that it'll bring all this together because I, I, I mean, some of your examples, I've heard people say verbatim and I thought, oh my gosh, but I really don't think they realized you know, what was being said or what was being heard um, coming out of their mouth. So I think this is great. Cool. Well, again, using that curiosity line, especially when they throw those little questions in there in the end and they kind of like those zingers that, oh, how long's the video? You know what? Not too long, but make sure you pay attention to the part when Woodson starts talking about the way she felt about her skin beforehand. Like if that's relative to what the person's talking about, like what they're interested in, right? That's what you got to do. All right, here we go. So let's go through this tour. We did the executive tour. I was sporting the t-shirt, uh, literally from door to door, 12 days, five <laughs> countries, craziness. There's us in a little selfie as we hit Italy. That's Anna, of course, Deanna, Michal. Uh, Anna and Michal are from Poland and they run, he's a European manager and Anna runs all the customer service and works with the reps. Of course, we know Fred myself, um, and uh, this was us leaving Rotterdam when I, uh, with, the, with suitcases. But how we kind of pack light, don't we? Pack light, you know, light packing. <laughs> but I was carrying like blow up, uh, like beach balls that we were hitting around and everything, and then uh, of course all the clothes for 12 days. So anyway, a lot of fun, great, amazing uh, experience that, um, you know, that you can do in this business. And I, I highly encourage that you think, not only in your local market in the US, um, and you may have places in the United States that you wanna visit, but my dream for network marketing my, in the past was I always wanted to have a business 
that I could do in, you know, over overseas. I didn't really define that. And so <clears throat> I found myself in Asia doing presentations that I didn't like, no one spoke the language. I was like, Oh my gosh. And so I didn't know if they were talking about, you know, the space shuttle or what the heck they were, or they were talking about my company. You know, I had no idea. Right. I trusted people. So this has been a little different going to Europe uh, where a lot of people are obviously speaking English, but I'll give you a quick rundown. So we went to the Netherlands, Rotterdam, which is um, where that hotel over here on the right, the big hotel that was the Manhattan right across from the train station. And this was us actually when we arrived, Fred, Deanna, and I, and um, I believe Cynthia, yeah, we all, uh, no, it's just us three. And we went right to uh, the hotel and then we started doing, we did like a dinner and then we had a meeting, we had a present like a meeting the next day and then went out to dinner again. And then uh, on the Sunday, we kind of had like a day that was like a down day. It was kind of weird. We had an extra day there. And so we went around and hung out at the, in Amsterdam and, um, and had a good time. But kind of cool architecture. Rotterdam is really cool architecture. Amsterdam's fun. I know it's known for some crazy stuff, but like there's a lot of cool cafes. There's cool, went to the Van Gogh Museum. So all of these things, think about it. A lot of people go on vacation and network marketing uh, like, excuse me, go on vacation on regular life, but it costs them money. Here, you know, we're doing business, we're having fun, and we're seeing things, and it's also a tax write-off, and uh, pretty cool. Uh, the next day, we flew to, so we did two days, whatever, then on Monday, we flew to Bologna, Italy, and this is like the food capital of Italy, and um, we did a presentation, more of an emerging market. We have a couple good leaders there, and some teams, and um, we did our presentation. This one was all in Italian with translation, so that's always, you know, it's pretty cool. And uh, we walked around the city, uh, took pictures, videos, and things. You can see down here, Cynthia. Um, and I want to talk to you guys about just like the belief in the business and how your business can turn around fairly quickly in a matter of minutes, actually. And, um, and it's really true. Cynthia <clears throat> brought in Rui, who helped start Portugal. And that kind of like flatlined a little bit just because, you know, I don't know if things happened. What happened there? Oops, I'm sorry. I plugged in my phone, and so it's going crazy. Um, so there you go. There you go. M m mistake. So, um, but Cynthia got Rui started, and then Rui started building, and then kind of got, got you know, distracted with some things. Whatever. Things happened, and basically, but he had gone over to, to uh, UK, and Dee and Sue and Sandra signed up. They started building in the UK. Paulo ran an ad, got James, and that's really went crazy, right? And so, and now Rui's back in the game, obviously, he's pretty, you know, he's, he loves it. He loves Rx, and he's a great network marketer, and um, he had the contacts into Italy, so we went over there and did our, our presentation. The gals down here, this is uh, Mona, this is Nadia, Antoinetta, I love her name, and, um, you know, they took us out to dinners, uh, and um, we had a great time, you know? It was awesome. Italy is a really cool place lots of history and uh, you got to go see it. And so Italy, by the way, just for your opportunity, don't think that all that we have Italy locked down or something. Italy is like one of the biggest markets in Europe. There's three markets that usually uh, for network marketing and direct sales, three of the biggest markets are UK, uh, Germany and Italy and then Poland. And um, you know, there's a couple there's others after that, but depends who you talk to it is Italy, UK or Germany, uh, are they which one's bigger they're all big okay and so there's a huge opportunity there for any of you also Spain and, and Portugal and you know the EU and so don't think that's out of your realm that you could be doing this you know um, you could uh, and then we went to Scotland didn't see a lot of Scotland kind of got there it was raining and like we went from like t-shirts you know we're in our t-shirts getting on the walking on the plane on, on the tarmac right and then like we get to Scotland and it's like you know it's like raining and you know like <laughs> typical UK weather and um, we had a good presentation there really well organized really well run Sandra made, did an amazing job and uh, and so did D they did an awesome job there and um, yeah I mean I basically walked around the town a little bit but I didn't get to see much of Glasgow but it looks like a cool place nice people really nice people and uh, Fred and Deanna did awesome and um, these are some of the cruise winners and they got the little like their little uh, you know their cruise ship stuff and so Pretty awesome. You can, you can see the cabs and all that. Then the next day we went to Liverpool and um, we had a leadership dinner up on the 34th floor, this panoramic, um, uh, basically 
34th floor of this, this building, this panoramic restaurant, I guess that's what it's called. So James had put together a, a team dinner and uh, of his leaders, the officer, who people who, who were officers and above. And, uh, and then Carl, which is pretty cool. Carl just made, uh, this guy here, sorry. Carl here just made president this week. And Carl is full-time in the British military. And he's made president and part-time. I love it. Um, so great people. Um, there's Jeff Boyle, uh, it's Lauren, Alfre, there's James, uh, and um, Connie. Uh, Connie just uh, made, made uh, officer. There's Deanna, of course, Chris Fielding. Uh, and just really Carlene here, if you ever work over there, Carlene. And um, just awesome stuff, you know. And there's Fred and sitting at the, the table with James. I know they're having a good time. Darren Foy, who's a, a leader in Ireland. Charlotte, who's an up-and-coming leader in the UK as well. So good stuff. And then, the ne so, and then of course, I grabbed Anna's scarf. Anna's here. And I was acting like an idiot, but that's typical. And so, but we're always trying to have fun and um, having a good time. And, uh, yeah, that's how we roll. We always have fun. But the Liverpool event was great. <clears throat> um, it was uh, a 1,000 people. And, um, you know, it, it's just a great atmosphere. You brought in a guest speaker, had an amazing story. See Charlotte there standing in front of the stage. You know, she took a risk, left another network marketing company, and came to ours. Um, you know, uh, and these are the cruise winners. They had a success panel, really well run. Down below is uh, uh, Christop Christopher Clue and Lisa and Vaco. They're, they're from like, Christopher's from Finland and, uh, and Lisa's from, Lisa and Vaco are from Estonia and they brought 20 people. Some people don't even drive across town, right? These guys brought 20 people from Estonia and Finland over to the event. So it's exciting to, to hang out with them and, and uh, see where they're headed. And just a really, really first rate event. We have another big event September 10th in this huge arena and uh and we're gonna have ray higdon come along as well so it's gonna be pretty cool you'll hear more about that and then we went to dublin the next day i mean we were like we were just i mean we stayed out late at a party and everything we stayed out till who knows and then we got up and i was up, up at like six i was up at six standing outside to go to the cab and then we took a little uh the Aer Lingus airlines we, we flew over to uh to dublin and uh me, uh, Cynthia, and uh, and Jeff snuck off to the Guinness factory because it's a really cool it's a really cool tour actually. And um, and then we were at the meeting and they did it at the Gaelic uh, this uh, place where they play, play Gaelic, which is like a crazy sport, their national sport, and a huge stadium it was gorgeous, really cool event. And uh, these guys are awesome leaders. So again, remember. That's the trip, the executive tour. Doing another one in six months. Maybe you want to join us. It's going to be awesome. We're going to be going to places like Helsinki, Finland. We're going to be going to like most likely like Portugal or Spain. Uh, of course, the UK. We'll be going back. And then uh, probably the Netherlands as well. And maybe one other place. So you never know. Again, West Coast Regional. Do, do what I told you to do, man. Meet Simon. You're going to love. And taking pictures with him is important because a lot of people know Simon and say, you know what? And then this is also a good tool for you to listen to. You know, it's a generic training. Uh, you know, as long as you don't go crazy and start following somebody else or whatever. I mean, I, I would just say to you, there's good training in this. And, uh, and there's good tidbits by listening. Uh, and it's all free. And you can just listen to his podcast. Okay. Uh, again, sponsor four people, 150 points or more. One rep who goes gold, a thousand points in personal volume. Do any of those, and we will see you in Anaheim. Big week. Uh, we'll be doing a marketing Monday tomorrow. I'll probably push it back a little past nine. I got to do something from seven to nine tomorrow, uh, and then the next day we'll probably have to be pushing these back a little bit. But I'm gonna, I will do one. I will do them for you. Marketing and then uh, talking Tuesday, Wednesday night live event. We're gonna do a uh, quick webinar. Uh, with like the Woodson's quick webinar. And I also put that um, video of, on Join Rx, the 15, the 19 minute Woodson. Woodson has like a 90% close rate on that, which showing that video. So you could literally have people go to Join Rx, say, hey, just watch the first business presentation of 20 minutes. That'll give you an idea whether this is something for you. Boom, right? There you go. And that's all you'd have to do, Woodson. All right. Awesome. And
Anything, anything else what you want to add at all or no? You're good? No, I'm just so excited to have you back. I'm so happy for everybody, what they're doing, the strides they're making. And now we're just going to turn up the heat a little bit more. Use these Creating Curiosity trainings. I would have killed to have had a training like this, so practical when I first got in the business. We were all kind of baptized by fire, um, you know, when we first got started and it was these little things about, oh my gosh. So I really liked it. Um, I want all of y'all to have an awesome rocking week and we want to help it just focus on you going gold again. And if you go gold again, or you go out and get four new people helping them do the same thing, you're going to make a big check. You're also going to, um, also help your team make, make a big check and go into your back office and go look at the gold uh, promotion. Take a screenshot of it. Keep it in your phone. Um, keep it with you. It's just all, it's all right there. And it's so simple to do. I love how they, they spelled it out. And then use that and uh, get your personal volume points or one or the other and get qualified for this dinner. There's no way in this world I'm missing that dinner. I can't wait. So I gotta, we got to get on it. Yeah, I'm telling you, just, just you guys, well, whatever, what's he going to tell me? I'm just telling you, like, listen to what I'm saying. The more you, what if you be, what if you're like the, what if you talk to Simon and you start performing and then you perform to the level where he puts you on the show, you can use that as a lead generation. Give me a break. Absolutely. Okay. And, um, you know, I mean, there's so many different things you could do. You could use, you could even send somebody my link right? That I had to record. I put it in there, right? I'm not trying to pump me up. What I'm saying is you could use it. Someone's like real skeptical about how things work and say, you know what? Listen to my, listen to the, one of the guys I work with. He went from, you know, an army captain to doing very well. And uh, here's an interview he did with a guy who actually has an Ivy league education and you know, they're in the business, they're in this business. You know, maybe you might want to rethink this, right? Again, keep your eyes open for people in network marketing and keep your eyes open for people that looking that are, that are, Sharp people that are looking for, you know, people are looking. I'm talking to some network marketers right now. Oh, boy, I'm telling you. You better start talking. You better find some as well. Go attend some meetings. I mean, you don't have to be, like, dishonest about it. But, like, network with people. Find out what's going on. Use some of those techniques I showed you before where you go into Facebook. You type in MLM Omaha, network marketing, you know, Charlotte. And see what comes up in the hashtags and Twitter and in Facebook. And then, you know, it takes a little bit of investigation, but go do that stuff. It's that little stuff, that little pain in the butt stuff you do when no one's looking late at night instead of watching two hours of TV, a little politics. It's all going to happen anyways, all right? So <laughs> right? <clears throat> might as well get on this stuff and build your business so you can travel around the world, do the things like I've been doing, make money every week, you know? I didn't call any prospects during this time. I was working. Dude, the checks keep coming in, all right? You got to do it, all right? Keep going. You have a residual income machine here. It's better than real estate, better than the stock market, and I really hope you take it serious and you fight for your own freedom because no one's going to give it to you. What is the latest thing I saw? American workers all working after 65 years old? Give me a break. Why would you want to do that? Forget it. You know, you could build RX. If you want to work on RX when you're past 65, cool. You'll just be richer and wealthier. That's awesome, uh, but you know you can build a business in your part time spare time, but you can't build it you know with very little effort put in. All right, you have you guys have an amazing night, and appreciate your wisdom coming out this evening. And everyone have a good evening. Thanks so much. Thanks, Steve. This is awesome.